Love seeing you. So you were. He he was just sitting here the other day because right. he hosted for me. I was so sick, and you did such a great job. Oh, thank you so much. And I mean, obviously you do a great job. You're a host, but I just mean like it's it's awkward prob probably to step into like another environment with another team. And my team, everybody said you're just so lovely to work with. Oh, thank you. I had yeah. such a great time. Thank you for uh, oh this little video I did yeah. right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, you know I love you, and your team is awesome. The audience. Is, is awesome. Great energy. Your band it is great. However, I was a little disappointed about one thing. Okay, what? We will do better. I wish I could have done my Mariochi. Oh. <laughs> the only Wait. thing I was, I had my set list, I was ready. You should have told us. <laughs> we would have done that. Next that one, next one, next okay, one. Okay, I was okay. like, we would have done that. Um, we're coming up on award season, so do you have a favorite red carpet moment? You've done a lot of red carpets, right? So anyone that sticks out? Well, my favorite award show every year is the Golden Globes because it's the first one of the year and no one's lost yet, oh. right? <laughs> everyone's Every, in good spirits, Everyone's in a good hopeful. mood. You get to see everyone, the, all the big TV stars and the movie stars, but yeah. you don't know necessarily who's gonna win because by the time the Oscar comes out, everyone kind of has an idea of who's gonna win Best Actor, or yeah. best, right? But everybody's in a good mood right there. Yeah. And I used to have a tradition that everybody was ready to party too, because this first one kicking off the year, that I'd bring tequila on the red carpet and I'd be doing shots with whoever yes. wanted to do one. Well, listen, I, I can hold my tequila, but after a while. I've never had someone do that for me on a red carpet. Oh I might God. do red carpets if that were happening. I remember one time, Kelly, it was, I, I was like in double digits and I was still holding it. But then I was talking to Reese Witherspoon and I was like, I was maybe a little too close. And, this, and she was getting the biggest kick out. And I said, I saw myself, I said, oh my God, no more tequila. <laughs> Double digits? You're a <laughs> real man. Yeah, oh yeah. I well, can't well, I'm a real do Mexican. that. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I'm Texan. I, I like tequila too, yeah. but I I would be on the floor yeah. with double digits. Yeah. It would be a different, I'd be interviewing like this. <laughs> they a, would never allow me to do that. It was fun, but now as you get older, you know, I got I got to keep it in check a little oh bit. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It does sound fun though. Yeah, it's a good time. Because um, okay. sometimes, you know, people get the same questions. You know, we, right. have, we often have to ask the same thing. So it's like, it's nice when something breaks it up like that. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, so that's that's probably my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's okay, so during the holidays, your wife posted a photo of an ornament, and the photo it says baby's first Christmas. So is there something like what's well, happening? That's not my baby. That's <laughs> that's a stock photo of the ornament, and she forgot to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> so then we just kind of roll with it. And we, I, we have three um, uh, beautiful, healthy kids. And Please tell we, me you're keeping the ornament. <laughs> no, now we got to keep it. Oh my now God. we got to keep it. So Some stranger's baby yeah, on your tree. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Show how much. Are you going to have any more? Because y'all love your kids. You love having I kids. Love, three, I would, right? So I would, we have three, yeah. a girl and two boys. And, and I, you know, at that point, I was like, let's go for four. My sister yeah. has four. There's, there's the gang right there. That's what overthinks. That was actually Thanksgiving dinner, and we didn't have it at home because our family rode the turkey, um, the Tom the turkey, the float for the Macy's Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, so we were kind of leading the charge in there, so we had to help go have Thanksgiving dinner at, uh, at, at a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, but my third one turned out to be a maniac, and he's yeah. he's broken TVs, he's just real wild. So if he was a little bit more chilled out, I probably could have squeezed out a fourth, but I think yeah. she, I think she's tapping out. You could have squeezed out a fourth? Pardon me. <laughs> she could have squeezed out a fourth. No, I, I know no, I, I could have squeezed out. Pardon me. She Miracles could. are happening. <laughs> No, right, that's, right, right, a, that's right. a lot of kids, especially, yeah, maybe if it he would have been a little more tame. Right, Yeah, right. it would have been a different scenario. It's a different scenario. Boys, though, y'all, y'all are wild. Yeah. Because my, my, yes. I have a boy and a girl. My boy, I'm just like, you can't write on the walls. No, right. And then you get two boys together, so the brothers my are just God, wrestling. My God, it's like they're, yeah, in competition to see right. who could get in trouble the most, probably. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, whole, it's a whole thing. Three is good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So you and your wife often work together. Is this fun? It is do? fun. It's yeah. fun. You know, the... What, I, I love many things about my wife, but one of the things that I love is that um, she, she's funny. She has a, yeah. a quick sense of humor, and, and yeah. I just that make we connect a lot. And I think couples that can laugh together, it, it's a healthy yeah. relationship, right? So we do a radio show. I have a nationally syndicated radio show for yeah. my heart radio called uh, You've Been Lucky Enough to Be I, On I know, it I was going to say that. Yes. That's right. Um, called On with Mario, and she's uh, uh, the co-host. She only comes in, though, a couple times a week, because any time more, more than that, we probably have problems. Yeah. <laughs> So it's healthy, you know what I mean? Yes, a couple times, yes. but we bank a lot of the stuff on the show, and they were auditioning different females for that role, for that host position. Yeah. But the audience didn't like when the, the other, the female hosts were sort of teasing me or giving me a hard time. They didn't respond well. But for some reason, they love when my wife gave me a hard time. <laughs> 
So they well, said, of how course. Yeah, it's not yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> Dynamics, well, it's also yeah. a little behind the scenes too, like Intel. Like, that's nice too. Yeah, yeah. And it's cool. Not everybody is down to be that kind of personality to be comfortable in that environment. It's awesome that you're both comfortable. Exactly. Like, so yeah. yeah. So work there, and then over um, on Access Hollywood and Access Daily, we share the stage because she works on E News now too. Yeah. So um, and everything is great because it's geographically very convenient to the house. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so able to still get the when kids. you have kids and all the things oh, going yeah. on with their lives because our lives revolve around yeah. their social and, calendars. And they've got very busy schedules. All yeah. the kids, they, they all sing and dance, play the piano, they're yeah. into gymnastics, jujitsu, jiu -jitsu, uh, yeah. wrestling, uh, the whole deal. So it's, it's actually good. Keep them busy. Keep them busy. Keep them out of they trouble. Keep in trouble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's what my that's mom the, did. Yeah, that was my, my mom's plan too. <laughs> this week we are focusing on self-care for the new year. So what are you doing for you this year? This is a big year, Kelly. This year I'm hitting the fifth level. I'm turning 50. You, uh, you know what? I'm turning 50. Ooh. Wow. Hold on a second. Y'all said, ooh, like that's. Like, I mean, you know I, ain't got, I don't have a choice. Do you know, do you know <laughs> why? It. We're all mad, Mario. What do you, you mean? You don't look 50. Oh, you're so nice. I want to call you're you so a name nice. I can't say on daytime right now. Like, what do you want to call me? Oh. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, you don't look 50. I'm very upset about I'll it right now. We nice. look the same age, and I just turned 40, so whatever. No, so, you're, you're, here's the thing, though. Fine. You know what's you know crazy? Like, you can't lie about your age anymore. Yeah, I don't just really Google care. Yeah. No, I don't care either. Yeah, yeah. I don't really care because, number one, you can't really do anything about it. Yeah. And number two, you'll you'll get busted because people could just Google, Google you. So I'm just yeah. kind of leaning into it. I feel good. I still got a lot of energy. Um, there are some things, though, like... Back in the day, I used to be able to party, hang out, oh. get up, work out. I feel good. Now I tell my friends, yo, you got one night, either Friday or Saturday. <laughs> yeah. We'll go hard one night, that's it. And then I'm going to need the rest of the week to recover. Yeah. Oh, you're better than me. I can't. You can't even go? No, I mean, I go. Like, maybe, <laughs> like, I don't know, the band will take, we get together, like, maybe once every three months or something. Oh, right, okay. Like, I'm, like, tired. Yes. Yes. Sleep is so underrated. Oh, it's God, a beautiful I thing. I probably sleep with a smile on my face. Yes. Because it's yes. so, you know what I mean? Yeah, so wait, you were talking about your kiddos earlier. We were talking about them. So your nine-year-old Dominic, so he has his own show, and I have to show you all that. It's called uh. The Flopez Show. <laughs> It's so I, funny that you're giving him a shout out. I know he's because this. he's so good and cute, and I wanted to squeeze him. I want to show you a clip. Okay. This is a clip of the Flopez show. Hi guys, welcome back to the Flopez show. So I did a tournament today, and it was great. I got third place. My mom, my dad, and all my coaches are really proud of me. First match, I'll be honest, I was pretty disappointed in myself. I made some simple mistakes, and I lost the match. But then Donnie helped me to not do the mistakes again, and it worked. Uh, you guys, so it's, you have to watch the whole uh, thing. So, so it's called the Flopez Show because Donnie is his wrestling coach, Donnie Flowers, and then Flo, and then Lopez, Aww. the rest. So he talks about like lessons he learned, and he talks about wrestling and his jujitsu and in school and stuff. And it's just his little, he goes, Dad, I think I'm gonna do a YouTube show. I go, well, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, like it's, and do you feel like if my kid did something, I would feel like such a great parent, even how he, talks about learning a lesson, and like, I was like, you should write a book. Oh, uh, it's so <laughs> like, sweet. That's one of the things I love about uh, martial arts um, and, and oh. wrestling. It really, it, it teaches you discipline, respect, um, uh, a lot of confidence. Obviously, yeah. you're being tough, but both mentally, emotionally, sort of tough, and, and so it's just, so, uh, it's great traits that you need just in life. Yeah, yeah. so he, you're into jiu-jitsu as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of got into it because of him, because I, I wanted to put my boys into something because they were starting to be hyper like me, and yeah. then I thought I was too old to get into it, because I used to wrestle. Too old to do that, well, that's what, thank you. Yeah. So that's what I thought, and then I, I, I used to wrestle back in the day, and then I got into it, and then I fell in love with it. Oh yeah, I just got my purple Wait, belt. Wait, purple belt's pretty big. Yeah, that's, that's you, cool, isn't it? Yeah. There's just two more belts after that, right? Right, the brown yeah. belt and black belt. Yeah. But I love everything about it, um, Kelly, because it's like physical chess and it's problem solving and you're constantly learning and growing. It's a lot easier on my body. So like, I still box, yeah. but body's, uh, boxing's a little bit more explosive, so I yeah. kind of always need that outlet. So after I've done that, after you've done getting choked out, the rest of the day is easy. Yeah. <laughs> Can I learn a move? I want to learn a jujitsu move. I'll totally, okay. Okay, what's let's, a jujitsu move? Right, let's okay, see, let's see. Okay, okay. We won't do any tosses. We'll do a simple, okay. we'll do like a simple okay. rear naked choke, right? Okay. So Did if you, you ever, say a, a what? A rear naked choke. Oh, it's got okay. kind of a naughty name to it. I okay, realize. okay, okay. So you'll go behind here, right? very close to me while saying the word naked. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's very, it's very intimate right Just here. Just saying. You'll go behind here. You'll grab like your I've bicep. I've had this dream. Okay. Put this, your hand behind this hair. 
and then okay. you start to squeeze a little bit like that, and then when it starts to hurt, yeah, <laughs> when it starts to hurt, you tap out. Okay. Okay. Tap. Yeah, you tap out. So wait, I'm not tall enough. But yeah, I'll go down okay. here. I'll go okay. down. Okay. I'll go down. So oh, but are you are you right-handed? Yes. Okay, go with your left hand. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So you do that. I don't want to hurt you. You're not gonna know. I'll tap. Okay, okay, like like that. Put your right hand behind. Right hand. Yeah. Put no. Tap. Grab, grab this. Grab, grab this. No, this hand grabs that by Oh. Yeah. Now put this behind my head. I can't. Well, great. Oh, I can't no. hear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't, I can't even reach. I. Oh my God. Do you know what? You know what? I literally. No, but that I was have, effective. Like you can. You can. Next time, guys, out of line with you, you can put him to sleep. I have abnormally. I'll just aim for the man. Um, I, <laughs> then he'll get down, and then you got him. No, I have abnormally. You just found something out of it. I have abnormally short arms. <laughs> They are. They're like abnormally short. So I was like, I can't even reach my other. It's fine. I was so like, funny. I love every time I have you on here. We're always doing some kind of activity. Last time we, it was with your daughter, right? We were doing right. the dancing. We were dancing. Every yeah. time we have to do an activity.